there has got to be a world record for the longest time it's taken a contractor to complete a project in their own home. I'm just saying, it's the only way I'm gonna get in that book. What's up everybody, Mark here from Remarkable Woodworks and in this week's episode, we are back in the basement. I haven't really been able to show you as much of this space as I would have liked to because of, well, supply issues. Which, being in the industry, I kind of understand how things are. However, it's still a little annoying. Actually, it's frustrating as fuck, but it's also a major first world problem, so I'm just gonna count my blessings and move on. You know how they say that in life there's two guarantees? You got death and then you got taxes? Well, renovations have their own guarantees. Now the first one might not really be a guarantee, but you almost always run out of money, which means you either have to scale back on design or come up with a way to find more money. And the second guarantee that you're gonna run into when you're doing renovations is that you're always, always going to run into setbacks. And in my case, it's the flooring. You see, I've been waiting months for the flooring to come in for this space and being a contractor, it's hard enough for me to finish projects that I've started around my house. So when you add in the excuse of delayed material, that just adds to the neglect and ultimately becomes the reason why I'm forced to sleep on the couch. Now usually you'd start with your flooring and then build everything up off of that because, well, it's flooring. But since my flooring isn't gonna be here until never o'clock, I have to work backwards. Also, I don't even know why I'm setting this up. I don't even need that right now. I have managed to get this space a little bit presentable and I even shot a quick little video on it. So if you're into that, check it out. Maybe give a little boop on the old like button while you're there. No? Maybe this is getting very awkward. Moving on. The whole point of this video is to say this. If you're someone that's struggling from all of the stress and anxiety that comes from these projects that keep piling up on your plate, first, know that you're not alone. And second, I find it makes things much easier if you can focus on solutions for the things that you can control versus using the things you can't control as an excuse. So even though it's easier to drop a bunch of F-bombs on an innocent customer service representative who's told you that your flooring's been delayed for the fifth time, not gonna do that. Nope, not this time. Instead, I'm gonna work on things that don't involve flooring, like feature walls, or maybe cutting the trim, or installing whatever doors I can, or I don't know, maybe a pantry. Maybe you gotta call in the big guns and do whatever you guys gotta do to smash things together in a day-ish. Whatever it is that you choose to do, just don't let the things that you can't control cripple you, okay? Now in total transparency, I'm saying this for future Mark so that he can listen back and hear it whenever he needs to, but feel free to bookmark it for yourself too. And that, my friends, is gonna do it for this week's episode. So if you like this video, please do all the things that you're supposed to do when that happens. Feel free to follow me over on Instagram. I love you all equally, and I'll see you when I see you.